Hey Poozer, are you blind? Can't you see the rain that's in your face? I wasn't blind until you put that damn green light in my face. Shut up Poozer, Geely suck. Jackpot! What up Iron Man fans? What up True Believers? What up Batman fans? What up Transformer fans? What up DC fans? Ah! What up Green Lantern fans? This is Sean Long of Longshot Dreams Hall Com bringing you the Green Lantern movie Gigantic Scale Hal Jordan and Kill Log. Let's start with Hal Jordan. Now these gigantic scale figures are 10 inch in scale. They do have pretty good detail. The paint apps are okay. I mean I, I the head sculpt definitely looks like Ryan Reynolds. I like the mask. The hair isn't it's just basically brown, but you know, the, the sculpting is really nice in the body, the Green Lantern symbol. You can see here the ring which will have the light up effect here. Uh, the pants, the feet are nice, smooth, uh, but rivet texture. Um, nice. And then you see this is where the batteries would go. Um, but overall, uh, the detail on how looks great. And yeah, like the sculpting is really good for a big figure. Kilowog also has an awesome sculpt. I love the head sculpt right there. Uh, the paint apps, he has some better paint apps on his face and his eyes inside of his mouth. The body is pretty cool, it just has basically the darker green and the lighter green as you can see here. And you can see the ring, which is cool, and his uh, he has that very pig rhino skin type of uh, feel to him, which is cool. I like the texturing they done with him, and like, you know, the hives, his butt has a bunch of bumps on it, so poor Kilwog, bumpy butt. Cool, poozer. Articulation, these guys are very limited, but not too bad. The head can rotate on Hal Jordan and go up and down a little bit. Arms uh, can only go up that far because of the line effect. This arm can fully rotate as well as going out. This arm can go in out too. No waist articulation. Legs go forward and back. And that's if Kilwog is the same kind of deal. His head only rotates. Uh, his arm can go in out. It can only lift up that high because of the light up effect. Um, this arm can fully rotate though, go in and out. He does have wrist articulation on this one, um, which is weird. Oh yeah, also Hal Jordan has wrist articulation. That's one thing I forgot to point out. Only on that wrist though. Um, legs go forward and back and that's it. Both of these guys have a light up effect, which you just simply raise their right arm and you can see that the ring lights up as well as their chest, which is really cool. Same with Kilowog when you lift his arm, he has the light up. He, he flickers unlike Hal Jordan, which just stays on. Each of these guys come with a gigantic construct which is really big. The, uh, Hal Jordan cuts this really big machine gun type thing that does shoot a missile so that's cool. Um, it has a very green translucent plastic where you put his arm in and it'll project the Green Lantern symbol. The log comes with this kind of axe thing. It, it's cool like how it's that you know I really like the green translucent plastic. It kind of seems like it'll open up or it's articulated but it's not. But uh, it's cool, I guess. Main problem with these constructs, just like the smaller figures, is that they really weigh them down. You kind of have to use the construct as a stand. Uh, if you're playing with it, he'll hold onto it, but there's no way in display wise, like how it just makes him uh, fall forward. Uh, Kilowog is pretty much saving his ass right now. You can see how bright uh, these guys are in the dark. How Jordan will just stay flashing while. Uh, Kilowog will be flickering as you can see here. You can see how bright Hal's weapon is, his big old machine gun, and his lantern symbol is in complete darkness. It's pretty bright. Kilowog's little axe uh, thing is pretty bright too, in complete darkness. It looks really cool. You can see in complete darkness how bright that the Green Lantern symbol will get, and the closer you get, the, the the brighter the symbol gets, but it can be projected really big. So this is the human. <laughs> You smell funny. And you smell like bacon! I feel like green eggs and ham. Oh hell no, Poozer. How about I cut off your green legs and ram them up your ass? Size comparison time. So here you can see the gigantic scale figures. Um, to each other, they're definitely not on scale. Kilowog would be much bigger. But to the 6 inch Movie Master one, you can see how much bigger it is. And it's almost in scale. Uh, Kilowog is a little bit too big for a size. That's why the Movie Master one will be better scale. You can see it's the same size as the Captain America and Thor, which I didn't show here, but they're the same size, a 10 inch figure. You can see how much smaller it is than the 12 inch uh, Hal Jordan. If you like big lineup figures, you'll love these gigantic scale figures. They're not the most articulated, and they're construct 
products will weigh them down, but they are fun. Kids will enjoy them. If you like love light up features, they'll great. The kill log can almost use with your movie masters. He's almost in scale. Or you can just wait till the San Diego Comic Con movie master one comes out. And the Hell is a little too small for your 1-6 scale collection, but they're making a Hot Toys and a 12-inch talking one that will be coming out for Manny Collector soon. But for 18 bucks, these guys aren't that bad at all. I really like them, especially the Kill Log, the Hal Jordan's cool, especially how he can project the Green Lantern symbol. So I say kids will love them, and they do make good display pieces for your Green Lantern movie collection, so I recommend them. Hope you guys enjoyed my review. Stay tuned for more Green Lantern reviews as well as other toy reviews. Subscribe to my channel if you like, and then Sean Long saying until next time. I'm Batman. And I'm Iron Man. Whether you're a Marvel or you're a DC, there's one thing we have in common. We have alter egos. And both of us shop at Alter Ego Comics. From Hot Toys, Sideshow Collectibles, Replicas, and more. They take pre-orders and PayPal, and they know how to be a superhero. Okay, Batman, we'll go shop at Alter Ego Comics, then drinks are on me. Why you wanna drink me? Well, Batman, you need a donut and a cough drop. Shut up, Stark! Your enemy is not gonna play fair. Hey, what the hell, Poozer? What are you doing to me? Uh -huh. Thanks for the advice, Gorgeous. I heard Miss Piggy is looking for a new man. You know how she loves the guys in green.